Hi, welcome to Ever Mentor YouTube channel. To get the government job, PhD admissions, assistant professor job vacancies, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. Share, like and comment my videos. And in this video, we are going to see the uh, new regulations that is 2022 for the minimum standards and the procedure for the award of the PhD degree. So it is a part three that is regarding the procedure for admission. Okay, so what is a procedure for admission? for the UGC net qualified candidates and for only the PG candidates. So these points are clearly mentioned in this uh, new regulations 2022. So it will be very much helpful to all the candidates who are looking for the PhD admissions who cleared the UGC net and who are trying with only post graduation. Okay. So please share this video to your friends or colleagues. It will be very much helpful to them and the most uh, informative video it is. And please watch this video until the end to get the complete information regarding the Processor for the PhD admission as per the regulations 2022. Before going into the main content of this video, myself I am Ashwini Kumar, the academic educator of electronic science as well as the general paper one. So the candidates who are preparing for the UGC net electronic science for the paper one as well as the paper two for the next cycle. The new course I am going to start from Feb 9th onwards. So the interested candidates may take the subscription plan. So these are the different subscription plans are mentioned on the screen. And out of all these things, you may take any one of the subscription plan and use my referral code that is ASWINIK to get the 10% discount on any one of the subscription plan. Going to the present content of the video. So it is a PDF that we got from the official website of the University Grants Commission regarding the uh, minimum standards and procedures for the award of the PhD degree. So in this regulations 2022, total 16 points are mentioned throughout this PDF. So out of the 16 points daily, we are discussing about the each and every point. So yesterday and the day before yesterday, we discussed uh, about the two points. Okay, so regarding the PhD supervisor or else the PhD guide. Fine. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the third point. Sorry, the fourth point that is procedure for the admission. Okay, so what is the procedure for the admission and all these things we are going to see here. So usually uh, from past uh, one year, I am just observing the lot of uh, PhD admission notifications from the central universities or the NITs. Okay, they are mentioning that only UGC net qualified candidates has to apply for the PhD admissions. So in that case, the PG candidates cannot able to apply for the uh, PhD programs in the central universities as well as the few state universities. It will, be the, it will be the very big drawback to the postgraduate candidates without having the UGC net qualification. But whatever the regulation 2022 is mentioned, it will be the most uh, advantageous to both UGC net qualified candidates as well as the postgraduate candidates also. Okay, why? Because that you may check down here. Yeah. So in the 4.4, universities and colleges shall admit the candidates by a two-stage process through the national level test or else the equivalent test conducted by the universities or the institutions. So you may check down out of the 100% of the PhD vacant seats, 60% of the vacant seats has to be filled up by the candidates who qualified the net or JRF and the remaining 40% of the seats has to be filled up by the postgraduate candidates. That means without having the UGC net qualification. Okay, and these 40 percentage of the candidates who are not having the UGC net qualification, they have to clear the written test or the common entrance test conducting by that particular university or the college and then they need to face the interview. Of course, interviews has to be faced by both the net qualified, net or JRF qualified candidates as well as the PG candidates who clear the common entrance test conducting by that institution or the university. Got it? And whatever the unfilled vacancies are there, that means either the net category out of the 60% or else the only PG category out of the 40%. If any some unfilled vacancies, I mean vacancies or the vacant PhD seats are there from another category also, they can try to fill up those vacant seats. And the syllabus of the entrance test, that means uh, syllabus of the entrance test means this point is only for the post graduates without having the UGS net qualification. Okay shall consist of the questions which which is testing the research analytical comprehension and the quantitative aptitude the entrance test shall be conducting at the centers notified in the advance okay and qualifying marks will be the 50 percentage in the entrance test there is a relaxation of 5 percentage that is the 45 percentage is enough for the sc st obc non creamy layer and the differently abled category in the examination okay and after the entrance test 
an interview or the viva voice will be there which is organizing by the university or the colleges itself where the candidates are required to discuss their research interest area through a presentation before a duly constituted departmental research committee the selection of the qualified candidates uh, should be based upon the interview viva voice for the jrf for the net qualified why because these candidates are the exempted from the written test right that's why these candidate selection will be purely based upon the entrance test okay and uh, what we call their academic uh, something marks also fine and whoever the candidates have written the entrance test common entrance test so 70 percentage from the written test and 30 percentage of marks from the interview okay next in the interview viva voice what are the points you need to prepare the candidate possess the competence for the proposed research that means you guys must be very clear about uh, uh, the research problem and uh, the research work can be suitably undertaken at the institute or the college that means whatever the research work you are proposing okay that institution or the college has to check whether that research work is happening in their college or not okay based upon that one also the selection will depends and whether the research topic is relevant or not okay so these are all the points they are going to consider and the universities or the colleges has to maintain the list of all the registered phd scholars in its official website on a yearly basis and the list shall include the name of the registered candidates and what is the topic selected by that candidate and what is the name of the supervisor or the co-supervisor and what is the date of enrollment or the registration all these details has to be perfectly maintained in the institution website okay so these are all the points regarding the procedure for the admission phd admission in the universities or the colleges with p with ug senate without ug senate really it will be a good news to the post graduates why because now the post graduates can apply for the state universities central universities okay any type of colleges right so please share this uh, informative video to your friends or colleagues who are looking for the phd admission and it will be very much helpful to them if you are having any queries regarding this one please post your queries in the comment section to get the more notifications like this please subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon and the candidates who are preparing for the UGC net examination from an academy side here one announcement follows if you are interested you may continue this video otherwise you may stop this video by here itself thank you jai hin yeah hi guys welcome to my channel so myself i am ashwani kumar an academy educator of electronic science as well as a general paper one that is teaching and uh, research aptitude so myself i cleared the UGC net as well as the gate for the two times in electronics and communication subject and uh, in this video i want to bring you one uh, new batch course uh, for the candidates who are preparing for the next uh, nta ug senate exam cycle so next cycle means as if right now in the month of november and december uh, nta ug senate is conducting the exam uh, for the december 2020 as well as the june 2021 merge cycle fine and the next cycle is the december 2021 so an academy started the new batch course guys for the paper one as well as the paper two and the highlights of this course are online live classes you will get and even though if you miss the live class due to your busy schedule you can watch the recorded videos also and you can download the class pdfs also which will be very much helpful for your uh, preparation purpose or else to write the short notes purpose or else a revision purpose and the test series are also you can avail from this new batch course and while coming to the official website of the an academy so all of you know that uh, an academy is uh, india's largest uh, learning uh, platform so it is not only providing the paid courses guys it is providing the free online classes also and you will get the free online classes on the two platforms one is on an academy youtube channel and one is on an academy app itself in the name of uh, special classes so here uh, what i mean nta is conducting the ug senate examination for a total 81 uh, subjects right so out of the 81 subjects an academy is providing the online uh, courses or else the uh, call paid courses Okay, that is nothing but uh, complete coaching uh, for the subjects okay, that you may explore what are the different subjects an academy is uh, providing this UG Senate uh, examination purpose and coming to the list of the subjects so general paper on teaching is common that means teaching aptitude that is paper one is common that you will get in English language as well as the Hindi language and coming to the remaining uh, paper two subjects are uh, commerce management computer science and application political science history economic sociology labor welfare and uh, english and education and uh, geography law hindi psychology public administration electronic science home science environmental sciences philosophy mass communication and journalism tourism administration management 
Sanskrit, Punjabi, okay, and Anthropology. So these are the different uh, subjects that an academy is providing, guys. And uh, while coming to the myself, as I told that uh, I am providing the subject that is uh, Electronic Science, so it is uh, my profile. So for both Paper One as well as the Electronic Science, I am the an academy educator. So the information to the Electronic Science candidates, I mean, not only to the Electronic Science candidates, so whatever the subject I shown you right now. So if you want to take the subscription plan where the new batch courses are going to start guys, okay. If you want to take the subscription plan for all this one, then uh, you may click on this get subscription. As I told in the starting itself that you will get the free, on, I mean, free online class as well as the paid courses also. But under the subscription, you will get the complete in detailed uh, syllabus as per the UGC syllabus guys. And uh, you may take the plus or the iconic subscription. So if you click on the plus, Okay, these are the different subscription plans are there. So you may take one month or three months or six months or 12 or 24 months. Okay. And here the price are also mentioned. So for one month, 3,190 and three months, 6,875 like this. And whatever the current courses are running, they are maximum up to the three months. Okay, or else beyond the three months. So the suggestible one is the three months or the six months of subscription plan. Or else if you are preparing for the next other cycles, you may take more than uh, six months also. And uh, if you go to this one here, it, it, it mentions that have a referral code here. So here I'm providing one referral code guys, A-S-W-I-N-I-K. Okay. So if you click on this referral code and uh, apply, so whatever the plan you are going to take here, for example, if you want to take the six months of subscription plan. Okay. And if you use my referral code that is A-S-W-I-N-I-K, then you will get the 10% discount. Okay. 10% off you will get on any one of the subscription plan. So previously I shown you whatever the subjects that is providing for the I mean providing by the an academy. So for any subjects you will get uh, the 10% discount uh, for the referral code that is ASWINIK and then click on the proceed to pay. Okay.